a blessed Ascension Sunday, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to Pathways of Hope, Sunday Gospel Reflection on Mark 16, 15 to 20. My name is Aldem Salvania. Now, let's first consider how astounding the uh, Ascension event is. For it's not every day that someone levitates, much less physically rises on the air. And the best part in Jesus' case is to do so without harnessing any contraption or optical illusion. As the book of Acts declared, and while he was blessing them, he began to rise into the sky. What a sight this must be to behold. And a cloud had hid him from their sight. It's very similar to today's passage which reads, After Jesus had spoken to them, he was taken up into heaven and he sat at the right hand of God. But this is a bittersweet day for the disciples because their Lord and Master who just proved to them that he is the resurrection and the life and whose risen presence gave them joy and renewed confidence. Yet he is leaving and so soon, which makes the most crucial moment for all the disciples because on his last day, on his last moment, he gives the marching orders that will make all the difference for anyone who claims to follow him. Because, you know, we naturally tend to best remember the last things that people say before they are gone. And we take their last words as like final will and testament. And in Jesus' case, his commands to us are clear as day. He says, go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. And like a conditional will and testament, this command carry ultimate consequences so that those who ever believe and are baptized will be saved, which means that their inheritance is to live in bliss, love, and untold abundance with God forevermore. But whoever does not believe and lives in disobedience will be condemned. By condemned, we don't just mean like you are not allowed into a nightclub or are not admitted into a university or banned from an elite society. Now, those really hurt, but they do not impact your identity nor diminish your worth as a person in the same way as those who are deprived of heaven for all eternity to be cast out from life, from joy, from love, from peace, from fellowship, fullness, and most painfully, to be cast off from the presence of God himself. So the consequence of our choices to love and obey God is critically serious stuff. No wonder some Christians, especially the born against, feel so adamant about asking others this question. Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? They feel really compelled to obey Jesus' last words on earth and share God's life with others. So in reflecting on this passage, please take Jesus' words seriously and ask the Holy Spirit to help you make a personal answer of yes to the life He is offering you and me. And make it a habit even in your own simple way to share His life with others. And some of you might not be good with expressing words, right? No problem. Just find ways to serve others and pray for them so they will feel loved. Okay? So... I gotta go. God bless you. I gotta catch up with my friends who are going to see Jesus ascend to heaven. <laughs> Just kidding. But maybe I'm not. <laughs> but brothers and sisters, pray with me as we end today. Lord, let your last words of commission at your ascension burn in my heart to make your love known to others. I long for the joy of heaven in fellowship with my loved ones and mostly in communion with the triune God and will share this joy with those whom I know so we can achieve fullness of life in the Father, Son, and Spirit forevermore. If you have been blessed by this sharing, please share this link to others so they can also be blessed too. And have a blessed Ascension Sunday. And God bless you all mothers today. It is your day. How you have served the world very well. So we thank you for your unselfish love for all of us. God bless you. Bye-bye.